Hey everybody, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie vs. Eyes. I'm attacking two cans. And I'm Josh Jepson. Mother Jepson? You said the intro weird. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna say weird things. You always say weird things. Anyways, Mother Jepson, I have a confession to make to you. Mm hmm. Can I'm listening, I, my child. Can I, can I be completely honest with you, Mother Jepson? Sure, why not? If I'm honest with you, will you condemn me to hell? Probably. I mean, no, my son. Can, you will go to heaven. Can you condemn me to a better place, such as, like, Captain D's? Like Burger King? <laughs> you know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so the last recording, I didn't turn on my microphone. And we're post commentating right now because <laughs> of it. <laughs> smite, 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 smite. <laughs> Will you ever <laughs> forgive me, Mother Jepson? <laughs> Fuck no. <gasps> Please. <laughs> Thou hast broke thy sinniest rule. A sinniest a word? I don't know. It is now, motherfucker. <laughs> You're just talking to all Jepson, this preacher. And I can make up shit. <laughs> You're talking to all this preacher talk, and I think you should become one of those people that can marry people. One of those people that can marry? Oh, like a, like a priest? Priest, or, but you don't have to be a priest like to a, marry some. Right, you buddy. can be. Uh, what do they call them? Something of the law. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know but called. you should become one of those things. I'm gonna be a mercenary. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I just think sound, being a mercenary sounds cool. Okay, so the thing I start off by doing in this video is trying to get that one jiggy inside of Gruntilda's eyeball. Oh, man. Ugh, because I didn't get it the first time, and it's yeah. my least favorite thing in existence. Well, I am on my way to freaking Click Clock Wood, which I started in the previous episode, but I, we didn't get very far. We really didn't, because we started at the end of the episode. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, this is like a podcast, but this not. Is, this, this is hard. Post commentating have is we ever had to, so hard. Have we ever had to post commentate anything? No, we've never post commentated versus before. I don't think we. Uh, I, I know I've done it for my own Let's Plays. I've done a post commentary before for my own Let's Plays. But I've never. We've never done it for versus. Yeah. This um, is quite quite an odd feeling. It really is. And I was gonna say, I used to think post commentating was easier. Because you could kind of go back and change things you mess up on. But nowadays, since I'm so used to live commentating, I think live commentating's ten times easier than post commentary. Oh yeah. It's also more fun. You get the, the initial reactions to everything. Yeah, exactly. And also when I'm just post commentating, I feel like I kind of I'm not doing anything with my hands. <laughs> How dirty that, that sounds. <laughs> you can, you can do something with your hands if you want, Tyler. <laughs> that is up to you to decide. Z um, no, yeah. uh, no. Sorry, I, I was I was. You, did you actually just zip unzip something into the mic? <laughs> Please I'm, tell me that was not your fly. <laughs> that was my jacket. I was zipping it up high okay. so I wouldn't get cold. <laughs> Okay. You because cold? I'm in the icy area right now, and it's pretty chilly in here. Yeah. yeah. God, today Thanks. outside it was like negative three degrees, and I almost killed myself. Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Okay. Negative well, three degrees Celsius isn't actually that cold, is it? No, no, no. It's. Well, I, I mean, it's it, it's cold, but it's not as cold as Fuck! three degrees Fahrenheit. I messed up again. I did not see what? that coming. <laughs> Why do I suck a banjo kazooey? I don't know. What? <laughs> what was that? Apparently, I need to practice more. What voice is? You sound like a muppet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of muppets, my my father uh, is a muppet. When, uh, <laughs> yes, my dad I, is a muppet. I knew it. I was on the Jerry Springer show and I found it out and I was I was really angry actually. <laughs> so uh, your mom no, had a sexual no, no. fetish towards Muppets. <laughs> and she had sex with one and then gave birth to you. She had like a felt fetish. <laughs> no. Um my, my dad was a um like the the head puppeteer guy 
at my church. We had this thing called the puppet ministry at my church when I was younger. I'm guessing it was um, for the kids? Yeah, it was for the kids, yeah. And and we had, um, uh, there were two, like, there was an older section of the church uh, that used to be, like, the main church, and then they built a new section. Was um, it haunted? No, but that it was smaller, and that's where the little stage was set up for doing puppet shows and stuff. My dad ran that. He um, he ran that for a long time. I don't know if they still do that anymore, but... Um, you should ask him. Call your dad right now. You should really do it since you're not right playing now? video games. Call your right, dad, Josh, right. and ask him if he still does the dad. puppet show thing. Do you uh, know your dad's <laughs> phone number? I do, yeah. I'm going to call my dad right now. Let's do this. Um, okay. I'm actually kind uh, of excited. Should I talk I'm, or be quiet? No, you can talk. I'm in. Uh, you're in my headphones. You, don't talk too much, though. Well, I start talking. Okay, put uh, it on speakerphone so everyone can hear dad's beautiful voice. Ote. Okay. Ote. <laughs> Ote, Tyler. <laughs> Ote. I actually said that today through text. And then yeah. whoever I was texting was like, why did you say that? That's weird. And I was like, it's referencing the little rascals. All right, fine. If he picks up. I don't know if he's at work. He might be at work. <laughs> it's pretty late over there. Yeah, but he's he's on a work trip, so. Yeah. No! So we'll just assume that he still does. <laughs> I'm really sad right now. Um, I'm sad too, but I'm also glad that I don't have to talk to my dad on recording with verses. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so awesome, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, should we call my mom? Oh no, I don't have my phone with me, damn it. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> Maybe another time. God, fucking Swispers, get out of here. It's fucking Swispers. I'm opening up Summer right now. You um, are? I thought you were dating Brooke. Now you're opening up some other girl named Summer? Hey, 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 hey now. No, Hey first of now, all. you're a rock star. Get your game on. <laughs> go Don't try to cover play. this up, Tyler. Hey now, you have done a great offense all -star. to me. Get your game on. You've done a great go offense to play. me. And all that I'm glitter is gold. You have oh. done the sinniest thing. <laughs> the sinniest thing? See, see how I brought it all around? <laughs> Remember I said sinniest earlier and I was like, is that a word? And you're like, you didn't say anything. I was like, oh, well, no, it is because I said so. <laughs> Josh, you're, I am I'm not, not the person myself. to ask about vocabulary. I have one of the worst vocabulary is in existence <laughs> sometimes you, they say a long word i'm like Tyler, Ooh, that made me sound smart are you vocabularyist that's a word is it yeah are you sure yeah how much no. money would you bet on it <laughs> how much money would i bet on it two yeah. cents Ooh, canadian and they don't even have pennies anymore <laughs> <laughs> oh man i just killed a bird i just killed one and i feel awful I don't. I don't feel awful. Those guys are annoying. Josh, did you know that it's illegal to kill toucans? What's that? Did you know it's illegal to kill toucans? Are they endangered? Yes, they are. And according to the Endangered Species Act of 1994, 1974, it's illegal to kill toucans. Oh, so man, apparently, that's a very specific number you have there. So apparently, that's a very specific number you have there. Apparently, my username is shame illegal. If something were to happen to it. I hate that voice. <laughs> I'm gonna talk the rest of the episode like this. Oh my gosh, I just realized it's actually making Tyler. me wet. <laughs> Tyler. Oh. Oh, never mind. You ruined it. <laughs> Can my boner get any bigger right now? <laughs> I don't think you have the appropriate parts for getting wet, Tyler. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Oh. Unless, I mean, I don't know what you're into. I could pee myself. Ooh. You wow. You could. Why but am why I so would you sexy? That? Some people are into that kind of thing, Josh. I think I think I've forgotten what to do here. Because I'm going to turn into the bee now. Yeah, I remember when we actually recorded this live, you went to turn into the bee, and you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't no, have no, done no. that. No, 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 I should have. I should have turned into the bee. No, what you're supposed to do... I just didn't use do... the bee for what it was supposed to be used for. No, you shouldn't turn into the bee until you're completely done with the world, so you can go outside oh, of the world point. and get the... Jiggy. Good good point. I had to turn into the bee. Th oh, God. All right. Well, anyway. So you wasted a lot of time by turning into the bee because you have to I go do I am so bad again. at this game for some reason. I don't know why. I grew up with this game. I'm... So you know, we went into this, like, assuming that I was going to win by a long shot, and then I've just been sucking. When is the last time you played why? it? 
Uh, honestly, the last time I played it all the way through, 100%, was my my Let's Play like four years ago. Really? <laughs> yeah. See, that kind of makes sense because I've been 100%ing every single world before recording. So everything yeah. is like fresh in my I mind mean, like a loaf of bread. I mean, since then, I've played like a loaf of bread. Bread has to be pretty fresh or else it goes bad. I know, but... That was just a really weird comparison. Anyway, <laughs> I, I have played, like, the beginning of the game, the first few worlds on live streams, you know? That's why I, like, owned the beginning of the game, but uh, the later game, I haven't played since my Let's Play, Yeah, whenever that was. <laughs> and then the beginning of the game is also super easy anyways. Yeah. So yeah. I probably could have been just fine without even practicing the first few worlds. I just, see, like, I know where everything is. It's not that I don't know where things are. It's that I... I don't know the best forget. path. It, well, no, it's not that, but I constantly forget. And, like, sometimes, especially when we're doing verses and I'm talking and not focusing on the game, because it's so second nature to me, I just play the game, and, and, and I don't quite realize what I've gotten and what I haven't gotten. Because well, on I'm top just, of that, like, I have a really motion. nice rack, and you just can't stop staring at it. Yes, that too. Well, I have a... Okay, I, let me let me kind of I, rephrase. I know, that you, I know that you like to hang your coats up. On something really nice it's beautiful no I see where you're going with that and I was talking about my boobs <laughs> <laughs> just I quite admire <laughs> beautiful coat racks thank you very much they are pretty great and my boobs are actually really nice except when I take my shirt off I have like some big huge salami nipples they cover up like 90% of my boob <laughs> and so it just kind of looks like I'm a mutant freak are are, are are large nipples unattractive? It kind of depends. Like, salami. Picture picture when you buy lunch meat from a store. Like, a slice of salami. And transfer okay. that into a nipple size. Okay. My nipples are bigger than some girl's boobs. <laughs> well, good to know, Tyler. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. Make somebody I don't know go when that information will be something. useful, but I'm sure it will one day. Someday. Someday yes. over the rainbow. Shut up, Tyler. That's not how the song go. Yeah, it is. Well, sort of. It's somewhere over the rainbow. It's somewhere. It's, you were close. I was somewhere very close. Somewhere over the rainbow. Is that song from? Way from Wizard of Oz. There's a world that I know of. Uh, I don't. I actually don't know. I'm can I marry? Sure can I marry? Can I love you right now? Like I, I know that. I know that. Yeah, you can go for it. Okay, so okay, here's Randy Jackson. Go, yo, yo, dog. That was kind of pitchy for me, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, no offense, but yeah. Paul Abdul, <laughs> I absolutely. Loved it. That was beautiful. I say you're going to the next round. What the fuck, Paula? Are you on bath salts or something? That was fucking horrendous. It's two no's, one yes. You're going fucking home. Go die. I agree. I think you should go die too. Remember when American you... Idol used to be good? No. Neither do you... I. <laughs> you are great imp at impressions. <laughs> you should be on America's Got Talent. <laughs> God, once I watched America's Got Talent, and there was yeah. this like one like middle-aged lady, and she was like, "I'm good at making animal sounds." Oh my God, I remember that. I remember <laughs> that. I've seen that episode. Yeah, it was so stupid. And she was like, "This is a." This was is she a actually on the main stage, or was that one of those like behind the like the the auditions? She actually went on the main stage. For Did some reason, she was booed joke? off the stage. What's you that? know, it's, sometimes it's hard to tell. Like, I'm curious, because obviously a person in the right mind knows that being able to go... Meow. 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 <laughs> wouldn't go on America's Got Talent. I think they probably let her through. I think they probably let her through on a joke. Like, just because it was, it, it was stupid. Well, I wonder if she realized it was stupid. Because she could have she had, like, did. some, like, mental problem. And Wait. you never I know. She has a mental problem. She just probably thought it was, you know, a talent. Yeah, I can make cool animal noises. That's so cool. People love that. <laughs> and then and then, and then they, they, they give her false hope because they let her through the auditions. 
the one thing I used to hate about America- And then America they just laugh at him. Yeah, I guess- I guess Big it kind bats. of works to help make this show more entertaining though, because we're actually talking about that instead of the actual talented people that were on the show. Truthfully, yeah. Because I don't remember a damn person from that show. <laughs> I think the only people I ever liked in America's Got Talent were the magicians. Oh yeah, some of them were really, really creative and really well done. And like, but the thing with that though is, right, you have to, if you want to be a standout magician, you have to do something completely different and brand new. Yeah, exactly. Because magicians are so, it's such an old art and like people don't find it, you know, interesting anymore. I, I kind of like, I like magicians. Same with Let's Playing. <laughs> you have to make Same it new and interesting. Yeah, you should subscribe to Versus if you haven't already. Because we keep it new and interesting. We are fresh to death. <laughs> fresh to death? I guess. <laughs> that should be our slogan. Fresh to death. <laughs> no, that's the, new, that's, the, that's, that's the new Subway logo. I, I have a question. Why haven't we made fucking t-shirts for our teams yet? I have no idea! A million people are like... Guys, can you make team shirts? And I think about it, but then I'm like, I don't know how to make t-shirts, so I don't. But you know how to make t-shirts, Josh. Why haven't we made t-shirts yet? You know what? I will contact the correct people. I'm going to talk to somebody next Monday. Whenever that is. Whatever next Monday is. Next Monday is, I'm pretty sure, July 3rd. That's your July birthday. July 3rd. <laughs> Next Monday is July 3rd. Yeah, we're recording this, by the way. Oh, no, your birthday is June 3rd. Or June 2nd? We're... June 3rd? <laughs> Keep guessing, Tyler. June 1st. It's December 32nd. Oh, shit. That's right. God, I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I can't oh, even hold man. all my dumb right now. You know what these birds are called? The green birds. They're Bitches. called big cluckers. <laughs> They're called big cluckers. Is that supposed to be funny? Yeah, I always thought it was funny. I, I, I thought I was hoping that you would find it funny too. And I guess I oh. was wrong and that was just awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh, god, I oh get god. it! Because clucker kind of sounds like a word for penis. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Not god, Banjo Kazooie rare. <laughs> you, guys, you guys know how to make a bitch laugh. <laughs> Big cluckers. <laughs> oh my god, it kind of sounds like. <laughs> a guy's got a big pair of balls. Check out my big cluckers. <laughs> okay, Tyler, oh. that's enough. You've you have quite overstayed your welcome here, good sir. Leave. No, please don't make me. I have no home to go to. Good. Go die on the street then. <laughs> what? Yeah, you heard me. Would you tell any homeless person that, or just me? Just you. <gasps> I like other homeless people. I'm other homeless people are nice. They smell, but they're nice. You. <laughs> You smell okay, but you're a fucking terrible person. Oh, I am. You can tell by the angry <laughs> faces I make at people. You can tell by the swastika tattooed on your forearm. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the amount of people I've killed because they're black. <laughs> How much worse can we make myself? Uh, <clears throat> white power. Ooh, too far. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Too Is far. that too far? Kind <laughs> Is of. that too far? <laughs> yeah, too soon. Uh, let me just... That's way too soon. Josh, As people were in cotton fields just like 100 years ago, and you're already making these kind of jokes. I know. I'm sorry. I'm such a bad person. <laughs> let me just dis put a disclaimer here. I am not racist. <laughs> I'm not racist. Neither is Tyler. Well, I'm not Both. fascist either. I'm not, I'm not fat. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've lost weight. I've lost weight, Tyler. <laughs> and I've gained it. Are you giving me your weight? What? Is that what's been going on? Am I getting chubbier because you're getting skinnier? Or is Actually, it because I've I'm eating some too weight. much? <laughs> I've gained some weight recently. I was really, really, really thin for a while. And more recently, I've been sitting around on my ass. And I'm getting chubbier again. Getting, you're getting, you're getting comfortable. It's getting fat in here. So take, so take off, off all, all your clothes. clothes. 
So put on all your clothes, because you ugly. No, I take all my clothes off anyways. I can be chubby and still sexy, you know? Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Just not at the pool. It's possible. Just not the pool. Just not at the pool. Yeah. Oh, God. You here's where I wasted the, my only gold feather, and I was so pissed off on recording, I remember. Gold Ugh. feathers are important, Tyler. Especially during this level. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a number of places we're going to need. Um, oh, I remember. I had to end up fighting those bumblebees without any gold feathers, I think. Or I haven't done oh, that yet. Maybe. Oh, no. have you done Unless you I already have, and I haven't been paying well enough attention. <laughs> Post commentary, everybody. You have I never pay attention to the game. We never talk about the game anyways when we're playing it. At, well, I mean, we do to a certain extent, but maybe we shouldn't. Sometimes. This is the kind of commentary, though, that, that like, Versus was founded upon. Not right? talking about the just, game for 20 yeah, minutes? Bullshit, just, you're just bullshitting for, for, for 30 minutes while we play a game. <laughs> and then we finally talk about the game when we lied to each other about our progress. When we finally do talk about the game, we completely lie. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Uh, no. Where you are? Where are you in Banjo Kazooie versus right now, Josh? Is you know, I'm fighting, fighting Bowser. <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> I think you're confused. Sorry, Tyler. Tyler. Let's say Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Oh yeah, yeah. He's in this game too. My God, I feel like Kim and Grant Tilda would make the cutest babies. You think? Yeah. I do think. <laughs> I don't think very don't well, but I try. <laughs> yeah, don't hurt yourself, Tyler. Uh, Oops. <laughs> Thought too hard and I pooped. Was that a what is that a brain fart? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I get uh, <laughs> it! Because I made a fart sound while thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a brain fart is though, right? It's not just when you when you can't think of something. It's when you think so hard that you fart. <laughs> God, this sounds so sexual. No, no, no. It's not. It's it's intellectual. It's smart. Didn't you go? Don't you go to college? Don't you have? Haven't you learned all about what? What is it? What we were talking about? <laughs> about brain farts. Oh, that's what brain farts. I, have you learned all about brain farts? <laughs> I slept during my brain fart class, actually. Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry. Well, you're Josh. gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna. You're gonna stay back, and you're gonna have to retake uh, brain fart class. One. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not just brain farts. It's all farts. Gosh, it's heart farts, farts oh, are yeah. the worst because they rhyme. <sighs> <laughs> because they rhyme. That's why they're the worst. Because <laughs> you're just like, oh, had a heart fart, and then you giggle, and you're like, <laughs> it's a serious business, but it sounds so funny. <laughs> is that what a heart attack is? Is that a heart fart? <laughs> My mother died of a heart fart, Tyler. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I never knew. It's not It's not funny. Why are you laughing? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> it's so messed up! It's just like when you tell somebody a, a your mama joke, and then they're like, My mom's dead. And it just becomes ten times like more serious. <laughs> it's like it's like yo mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But then Sorry, when you, whenever you tell a your mama joke now, and someone's like my mom's dead, you pretty much can never believe them, because usually they're lying just to try to make you feel like so, an asshole. So it's even worse. It's like yo mama, <laughs> my mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then she actually. No, really, is. my mom's dead. <laughs> So is, so is Tabasco flavored Cheez Its. Oh those my God, are, are those any good? No, they're awful. I think I've had them once before, and I remember them being terrible. I hate Tabasco. Like, I love spicy things, but I hate when things are spicy because of Tabasco sauce. I don't. Yeah, I don't like Tabasco sauce either. I'm I'm a fan of spicy things, but Tabasco sauce is only right in like the, a certain situation. I don't I think Tabasco tapatio. sauce is spicy either. It's not, I mean, it's a little bit, yeah. Like, it it's not, it's, pro I say it's mild on the spicy scale. Oh, yeah, it totally is. But uh, I like Tapatio. You like what? That's my favorite. Tapatio, it's a brand of hot sauce. Is that an Indian tribe? <laughs> no, 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 it's a, it's a brand of hot sauce. Tapatio. No, we, is that where yeah, Pocahontas lived? <laughs> shut up, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. They have it at Mexican restaurants. It's a, it's a hot sauce. It's pretty good. I've never actually it's had it before, but it sounds 
Interesting. It's, it's 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 hot sauce. It's really good. It's good on um, um enchiladas. Uh huh. And pizza. Burritos. And pizza. One of my friends would always put hot sauce on his pizza. That's actually a really good idea. I I used to put those red pepper flakes on pizza. I love those. They're all right. I used to really really like them, but I'm not. I don't. I don't ever eat them now. I like to drown my but, pizza in the red peppers. Okay, here's the part where I do the B part. I, like, watching myself play this now, I dicked around a lot, just doing stupid stuff. See, see, I, I, thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, I know I did awful in this episode, so I'm just not even gonna pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna half pay attention. So, so I would, I like, climb up all the way up the tree and then go back down and be like, wait, I missed this one thing. And then climb all the way up the tree again to get it, then I jump down. And I'm like, wait, I missed one more tiny thing. So I have to climb all the way back up again. And you know what? I gave up. Um, I, I, I think I think we should give up trying to care about people thinking that we we rig these things. Because so many people comment about it. <laughs> we don't rig these things. No. <laughs> We've never once rigged versus. <laughs> we just suck. It's very true. I'm trying to think we if just... we ever have rigged it, and I don't think. No. No, we haven't rigged it. It, it, we it's just no we, we did we did rig one thing was what did we rig do we want to reveal that or do we want to leave it up to people th pr pretending to know sure no it's okay we can reveal it um episode four of ocarina of time um when we played the mini game section what we did is we had like five mini games that we played so the very first three mini games we pretty much played realistically like we let whoever won won because i won the first i think josh won the second and then like Josh won the third, and so we're like, let's rig this very fourth one so we can actually do the mask like trading side quest, and the mask trading side quest will be the thing that actually determines the point. Oh yeah. yeah so yeah. we kind of like half rigged it, like it was ten percent rigged. It was all... just so we could show that last mask part. Right. It was all. It was all real. No, we, didn't we just switch them around? That's all we did. I'm pretty sure the That's race we... is inside Zelda's castle. I was supposed to win oh. that, so we could do the mask trading side quest. No, 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 we decided, oh, man, we decided we were going to rig it, but that was actually real, like, that actually happened. It probably was. Because <laughs> I, 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 legit I legitimately tried. Because that's the only type of thing I could think that we would have rigged just so we could have done the mask trading side quest, since it was, like, such a big thing. Right, yeah, we really wanted to do that. We really wanted that to be part of that series, so yeah. So it doesn't really change much of it, anyways. Just, like you can just. But when think it comes to when it comes to the... pure racing like this, no, we've never rigged it. Never rigged it. We're just very Man. equal. I'm, in I'm looking at my I'm looking at my totals. I have 45 notes, four jiggies. I I, I need to I need to speed the fuck up, man. That's it. I have 50 notes. 51. Seriously? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yes. No, well, I'm not I mean, kidding you. I actually have that many notes. <laughs> oh! So you're kind of like ahead of me, sort of, by notes at least. I, think so. I don't know how many I notes I think we have I the have. same amount of jiggies. I mean jiggies, sorry. I think we have the same amount of jiggies. But anyway, this is, uh, we're getting towards the end of the episode here, so we should probably start doing an outro or something. Are we really? Um, yeah, actually, I think. I don't... I guess so. I, I can't remember. I, then there, this is difficult, Josh. Oh, I know where we stop. I know I'll I'll start closing us out because I know what I did at the very end of the episode. So okay. I'll start closing us out once we need to be closed out. All right, cool. Sounds good. We should probably get closed uh, out of some store for I don't know where I'm going with that one. <laughs> we we uh we need to close up shop. We need to um uh what is shoe store? Shoe store. Do you buy shoes <laughs> a lot? Know. Uh no. <laughs> Do you? I, I buy like uh, a, I pair a pair of shoes, shoes that I had year. for like two years, and yeah. then I, I was they were far they were literally falling apart. So I was like, I need to get some new shoes. And I'm, I actually and I have a that. shoe cycle. Want to hear it? Oh, okay, go for it. So every year, right before school starts, I buy a new pair of shoes for my shoes for the year, and then my older pair okay. of shoes become my work shoes for the next year, and then I throw them okay. away after year two. Oh, and you just cycled them out. Yep. And then I usually buy a pair of, um, like, flip-flops for the summer. For, like, going to the pool or the lake and such. Yeah. Because you can't wear tennis shoes to, like, a pool or a lake. You look ridiculous. 
Why yeah. are you wearing tennis shoes to the pool? You're just gonna get your socks wet and it's gonna be gross. I wouldn't wear anything to the pool. Well, I flip flops. I mean, I I guess if you're in a public place, where I it's would like, hope you're wearing uh swimming trunks to the pool at least. No, no. Why would I do that? Oh, Isn't I gotta it go weird how in lots of bro, countries it's natural for like all the guys to wear speedos instead of swimming trunks. I and could never in, imagine wearing In those wearing same speedo. countries, it's also perfectly fine and normal to go for women to go topless on the beach. Really? In a lot of places. Wow. Oh, yeah. I absolutely. could never imagine, like, me or even seeing anybody else, like, in a Speedo at the beach. It just seems so... Or at the... Even well, the I pool mean, or whatnot. I it mean, there's so there's no hiding. There's no hiding your size there. Exactly. Like, if you... You know, you can got a whole lot down there. You're going to know. People are going to know. And then True. if you're massive, it's a little... Awkward. They're going to know. Anyways, so I think we're about to end the episode here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So thank you all for watching this magnificent post-commentated episode of Versus. Hopefully it never happens again. The only reason we had to do it was because they don't allow you to copy your file in Banjo Kazooie. So we yeah. can't have a backup. Yeah, so we can't do it again. We can't just record it again. Normally we would do that. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But shit happens. Alrighty. Alright. At least, at least the footage didn't mess up. Exactly. Anyway, so thank you all for joining us. I've been attacking two cans. And I've been Josh Jepson. See you next time. Bye!